can see nowadays we have online future predictors or those people who tend to be so much good advisors of telling people what to do and what not to do. I don't want to judge, but I don't know how their lives are doing. For you to come out and start telling somebody that this is not your person, is not the person who's supposed to be in your future for you to be successful. I've not seen this happening, but just learned it that it is something that is going on. Meghan Markle warned that she has no future with Prince Harry and needs to go it alone. Where do people get the nerves or the guards to tell this to somebody? Where do you get the energy to tell somebody what to do and what not to do? Whether the, right, whether the other person is the right person for her or him? It gets to a point whereby I question myself so many things and I'm like, wow, okay. So this is where the hateful campaign begins. And the hateful campaign that is how Tia is really, really getting out of hand. It has come to that point where people don't care whatever they rubbish out from their mouths. They don't care what they say. Not considering that the other person have got emotions and it might damage their emotions in one way or another, negatively or positively. The article states, The Duke and Duchess of Sussex signed multi-million dollar deal with Netflix and Spotify shortly after their break with the royals, but the Spotify deal was recently just cut off. We learned that and it was a mutual agreement between the Sussexes and the Spotify. People shouldn't create anything about that. They know nothing or they know no course of it all. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex and the ones that they were sharing the deal with know better. Meghan has been warned she has no future working with Prince Harry and needs to go it alone to save her career. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex took a major blow last month when their lucrative Spotify deal came to an end just after one session of Meghan's Archetypes podcast. The laws has sparked questions over what the couple will do for their next project, but an insider claimed Meghan's team have told her to go solo. Insider told Closer Magazine her team have warned her that there is no future with Harry and that she needs to start working on her individual projects rather than being seen as one half of brand Sussex. They feel that if Megan does more of her own, she will have more opportunities to save her career. It will give them breathing room and store confidence or at least that's the hope. Announcing the Spotify split, the couple's company Archwell said Spotify and Archwell Audio have mutually agreed to part ways and are proud of the series we made together. However, it wasn't all amicable as just a day later head to the podcast innovation and monetization at Spotify. Bill Simon branded the couple as grifters. In a flop mouth rant, the boss said, that's the podcast we should have launched with them. I have got to get drunk one night and tell the story of the Zoom I had with Harry to try and help him with a podcast idea. It's one of the best stories. I don't know what you think about this, but I fail to understand why are people so much involved in Harry and Meghan's life. Ever since Harry and Meghan left UK and went to the US, they have been ever since minding their own business. Back in the UK also, they used to mind their own business. It's just that the tablets couldn't get rid of their obsession over the Sussexes, always creating trolls, harassment, embarrassment that made them never feel at ease even at a particular point. Commenting on the snap, the insider claimed it left Megan distraught and can't believe she's been attacked so viciously and so publicly by one of them. There's one thing I can say. People should stop creating things or other people's matter making them their own. 
and you're making it your own and uh, not in a positive way but in a negative way you want to make this person look as if they are stupid in one way or another the fact that bill simons called them grifters we know that's not true and harry and megan have proven to us times and times again that they know what they want and that's what they are working towards they don't care what people will say they don't care or they don't look back at what's happening at the negativity being spread but one thing they've tend to focus on is their well-being is their family the positivity to build their family together not forgetting their marriage and one thing i know that is part of their goal is they are not letting go of any of each other's career people just need to let harry and megan be i remember prince harry called megan the most beautiful woman he's ever seen in his record-breaking memoir and the haters have never or have not been the same ever since then after just harry launching his memoir spare we know very well that it's the best selling book in market up to date ever since it was released people are so much terrified and tensed at the success that harry and megan are achieving together and that's why they can't get enough of that and still tend to create stories and stories and stories to make them make sense but in real sense they are not making any sense personally i'm super proud of how harry and megan are working together as a couple personally what i can say at this particular juncture is harry and megan know what they want and they are working towards it together as a couple as people who are so much in love with one another and care so much about one another's step we saw very well that during the documentary, these people were so much, so much happy to share their experience together. And that they've proven it to us that nothing is going to tear them apart. Not the royal media, not the UK media, not the British tabloids, not the haters, not the derangers. They've proven it to us that nothing is going to come between the strong bond they have together. Somebody tweeted and said, looking at all women around him, is there anyone even close? My Meg is stunning, absolutely stunning. She is extremely intelligent, driven, ambitious, kind, and an excellent role model for young women. People will keep on speaking positivity about Duchess Megan. For those of us who have been able to be inspired, have learned a lot through her. And truly, she is one amongst our role models. Such an amazing soul I know about. I just fail to understand why the hateful campaign towards her, why the haters can't let Harry be, can't let Megan be. One thing I can say at this particular juncture, Megan is not losing any of her careers. And Harry is truly he, her future and they know what they want together and i believe they can achieve it together so one word to the haters and the derangers they should just sit back wait and see the next bombshell that harry and megan are going to be releasing together i know and i'm absolutely sure it's going to be a shock to all of them they better sit down relax be patient and wait before they get embarrassed or even ashamed way more as they continue to write headful and lies rumors about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex that is Harry and Meghan. I don't know what you think about this. Kindly don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. And that was our today's podcast and thank you so much for tuning in. See you guys in our next podcast. Bye.